back to Brit's Book Corner. Today's video is going to be a massive 36 book book haul. I bought 36 books with two lots from two online stores and I want to show you guys what I got as well as for the first time look and see what books I actually received. Let's start with Goodwill. The first book I got from Goodwill is Irish Hearts by Nora Roberts. I've read this book previously and I absolutely loved this book and I just could never find the book or remember what the title of the book was and so I found it and I'm super excited to read it again. This book is Sun Kissed by Katherine Anderson. I love Katherine Anderson books. I've read plenty of her books in the past and I'm super excited to read this one. I've never read it before and when I seen it at Goodwill I was excited. This book I have is Cold Hearted Rake by Lisa Kleppis. I hope I said that right. This book is one that I had re recommended to me quite a few times and I just seen it and I knew I liked the author, so I thought, why not buy it? The book I got from Goodwill is Nora Roberts' Truly Madly Manhattan. And this book I know nothing about. I know it's a duet. I know it's got two different books in it. And so I kind of like those books um, a little bit, but I just thought, hey, it's Nora Roberts. And Nora Roberts is one of my all-time favorite authors. So up next is eBay. Now with eBay what I did is I took part in an auction for a mystery six book book bundle and I paid about four dollars for it and I got six books. I did not look at them. I just took them out of the package and threw them on my bookshelf. So I'm going to be looking at these at the same time you guys are. The book of this book lot is Captive Splendors by Fern Michaels. I've never read this book before and I personally didn't know Fern Michaels wrote historical romances so this is going to be a really good boost for me because I've read a few of her contemporaries and I love them. So this will open my horizons to Fern Michaels' historical romance writer. This book is Julia London's Tempting the Liar. I kind of like this cover because it looks like, you know, Scotland and all that. And I like these books that kind of incorporate other countries and I like reading these things. So I really hope I'm gonna like this book. This book is You Can't Always Get the Marquee You Want by Alexandria Hawkins. I, again, I know nothing about this book. It's a historical romance and I'm really excited to read it because, I mean, the title is just so intriguing. Is it Desire My Love by Miranda Jarrett. Again, I know nothing about this book, but I'm excited to read it because the cover and the title intrigued me. The book is Thief of Hearts by Teresa Medeiros, and I can tell you right now the cover doesn't do anything for me. It's just bland. I don't see anything that intrigues me other than jewels, and I'm kind of hoping that I, this will be one book that I actually can read. The last book from eBay is Cheryl Hankey's Rebel Baron, and I can tell you that the color of this cover intrigues me. It's one that pops out to me and I can't wait to actually try to read this book and see what it's about. A lot of books is from Macari. It's a 22 book bundle from all one author Stephanie Lawrence and I'm super excited to see what all books I got because I don't have that many books from just one author period and I'm excited book is Four in Hand. It's a really thin book so it looks like it'll be a quick read but I don't know and I'm kind of excited. It is Edge of Desire and the cover intrigues me, the color intrigues me, the title intrigues me. I can't wait to try to read this book. This book is The Captive of the Earl of Glenstra. I have no idea how to pronounce that and because I don't know how to pronounce that it makes me want to read the book because I want to know how to pronounce it and what has to happen. And the title is just intriguing, captive, whatever in historical romances intrigue me the best. It is Loving Rose. And this book is intriguing because I just like that my last name is in the title. And it's a short read, so it might just be a quick and easy, lighthearted historical romance. And I can't wait to find out. It is Captain Jack's Woman. And this intrigues me because anything that has to do with ships or captains or anything from you know, historical romances always intrigued me, and just the thought of this really makes me want to read it. So this might actually be the next book I read. It is The Lady's Command. I don't know how I feel about this. It kind of, the cover kind of gives me the Titanic feel, and I'm kind of hoping it's not, but I'm kind of hoping it's a good book as well. So we'll see when I actually get to reading it. This book is all about passion. I don't really know. The cover leaves a lot to be desired. I like the color of it because it draws my eye. I'm not sure exactly how I feel about this book, but 
we'll see. It is The Masterful Mr. Montague. And the, as soon as I read this title, I honestly thought of Romeo and Juliet because of the name Montague. But I really want to read this. It's a really, it looks like it'll be a short read. And the cover looks pretty sweet. So we'll see how I like this book. This book is A Buccaneer at Heart. Again, this has something to do with a ship, so I'm really excited to read this. The title, the cover, everything really just appeals to me and makes me want to read this book. This is The Untamed Bride. And I don't know, the cover kind of feels more contemporary than it does historical romance. And I don't know if this is historical or not. And I can't tell from the back without reading it really quickly. So we'll just see when I actually get to reading this book what it is. It is Scandalous Bride. And the cover leaves a lot to desire. But I want to see what this book's about. The thought of a scandalous bride kind in, in a historical romance just period makes me wonder about the character and what it is. So we'll see. Is And then she fell. I don't really know what I think about this cover or anything. It looks to be a short read. And like all the other books in this haul, I can't wait to read it and see what it's about. It is Mastered by Love. And the title of this really makes me want to read it. I like how there's a peekaboo sneak peek on the side here. Um, I like that the whole cover is not just the scene on the inside. And I can't wait to read it and see what it's about. Next book is The Daredevil Snared. And I, from the cover, it makes me think like treasure hunting, though I may be wrong, but I, the cover and just the title makes me wonder what it's about. And I really want to put this on the top of my TBR pile. This is the first repeat of all of these books. And I don't know if I have any more repeats, but this is Loving Rose. I've already given you guys my thoughts on this book, but now I have a repeat. Petuous Innocent, and the cover kind of vaguely gives me the thought of historical romance. I don't really know what this will be about, but again, it's smaller, so it should be a quick read. This is The Taming of Ryder Kavanaugh. The title draws me in instantly. I want to know what it's about because of the title, and the cover leaves a lot to desire, but we'll see how well the book actually reads. It is Beyond Seduction, and I... Don't know what I think about it. The cover leaves a lot to be desired, and I mean, I want to know because the, the title is really good, but again, I don't know what this book's about. So this book is An Unwilling Conquest. So this kind of gives me like an arranged marriage kind of deal, like feeling from just the cover and the title. So we'll see. I can't wait to read this and see if the title actually loves up to what my thoughts are. Next is a repeat, and I actually have two books that are repeats because this is another book that I've already talked about that's already buried in a pile, and it's The Untamed Bride. So I have two extra copies. This book is Four in Hand. I've already talked about this. This is a yet another repeat. For this massive 36 book book haul, I'm super excited that I have 32 books to read and add into my rotation and add to my collection, and four books that I need to come up with ideas for. So if you have ideas on what to do with these repeat books, comment down below and follow me on Bookstagram to see what I think of each of these books as I read them, and my, my Instagram will be linked down below.